ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiger Field in Parkinair High School for today's game between our visitors, the Union Red Hawks. And welcome to Tiger Field. Dan Hawk on the call for this afternoon's contest between the Broken Arrow Tigers and the Union Red Hawks. Going to be a little windy afternoon contest with Broken Arrow coming in with a 13 and 6 overall record, 4 and 3 in district. The Union Red Hawks 10 and 9 overall, 4 and 3 in the district. Recent matchup: the Red Hawks emerged victorious last night against. Uh, excuse me. Red Hawks were victorious against the Tigers last night, four to two in extra innings. The series outlook, Broken Arrow aims to secure the series win after District Four. Bixby leads the district with a 15-3 overall record and they're undefeated with a seven and zero mark. Some stats for you to take a look at. Grady Oliver leads the team in batting average, 471, and leads in stolen bases with six. That includes one triple, Cooper Base, Cooper Bates, rather, has the highest on-base percentage at 522 and holds the lowest ERA of 382. Lane Condry leads the team in home runs with two. Jordan Myers tops the charts in runs with six, slugging percentage with eight, 647 slugging percentage, RBIs with nine, doubles with two. It's time to welcome in my color analyst for this afternoon's contest against the Union Red Hawks, Jaden Stewart. Jaden, first time on the mic with me this evening. I know that we'd like to thank our one club sponsors. Yeah, first off, we'd like to thank First National Bank, The Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone Joint, TT, TTCU, Federal Credit Union, The Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. And now we'd like to give a plug to our Tiger Threads. Tiger fans, check out Tiger Threads at 1901 East Albany, 61st Street, open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we'll get more with Jaden in just a little bit. It's the National Anthem. We'll go field level with the National Anthem. Jaden Stewart will be my color analyst this evening as we get set for Tiger Baseball, Broken Arrow, and, you, and the Union Red Hawks. Starting lineups, we'll start it off with the Tigers. In center field, number seven, Cooper Bates. Number three, Grady Oliver playing second base. Number one, Jordan Myers, third baseman. Lane Condry, DH. Kelton Torr, right fielder, number 19. Tyler Billingsley. The catcher, number nine, Brody Tesco, playing first base, number 12, Brock Natalie, uh, Natelli, second baseman, number two, Bryce Smith, the left fielder, number four. And on the bump, Dylan Holmes will be starting it out for, for Broken Arrow. On the season, Holmes has appeared in two games. He's got one win on the the year. So we'll see how he fares this afternoon against this Red Hawks team that's, that's played some pretty good baseball. Four and three in the district. Overall, though, they are 10 and nine. Jaden Wynn could play a factor as it's blowing out to left center, mostly going into left field. It's going to be a breezy afternoon here at Tiger Field. Yeah, very breezy. Could definitely affect just throwing the ball, pitching possibly. So very interested to see how Dylan does today, only being in his third game right now. Yeah, but that is correct. 
Yeah, very interested in seeing how he pitches today and fares against these Red Hawks. Red Hawks are coached by Sean Newkirk. And starting it out will be Gam Jones, the center fielder, to start it out for the Red Hawks. Obviously, this is a district game, so a lot on the line for both these teams wanting to catch up to the Bixby Spartans. The first pitch right down the middle for strike one on Gam Jones. Tigers playing him straight up. Not, that's dangerous, but no harm, no foul. He'll go back to the plate, down 0-2. Gotta use some pine tar to hang on to that bat. Dylan will look to get his third strike here to give him much near confidence in his third game. Absolutely. 0-2 offering, just a bit outside, so the count falls to one and two. Holmes has pitched 11 innings so far this year, giving up just three hits, two runs, five walks with 16 strikeouts. That one hit off the, has pitched pretty well so far this year. That one flares into left, gets over the head of the left fielder, so Gam will go in to second with a stand-up double. That one just off, bad read by Bryce Smith, so the Red Hawks get their offense going early in the contest. Gam with a very well hit there to help boost this Union offense and to try to get their bats going to start the day here. So with the double by Jones, Cody Young, the shortstop, will get his first at bat. In the hole is Camden Knutson. Young shows bunt, pulls up. Windy afternoon, but perfectly clear skies here at Tiger Field. Yeah, I'm with a nice lead at second, another Shown butt attempt by Young, but he pulls it back. It's 2-0. And another thing to note, just with the wind here today, very near, pay attention to the people stealing because that could get away from you very quickly, try to dart Gam out at base. So just with the wind, that could very much play a factor trying to pick them off. As Gam has a considerable lead, another butt attempt, but pulls it back by Young. And it's ball three. Now we'll be shocked to not see Young swing here, being up in the count, 3-0. Young <laughs> thought it was a ball outside for the walk, but our home plate umpire signals strike, so it's 3-1. 3-1 to 3-1 the count, I mean. Tedesco, Brody, the first baseman for the Tigers, is playing in on a possible bunt attempt, but I don't think we'll see that 3-1. Oh, maybe we will. That one's off the mark, gets behind Billingsley, so Gam Jones will move up, and Young will go to first on the walk. Next up for the Red Hawks, the second baseman, number seven. Now, Union has very good position right now, having a person on first and third base and no outs here. Yeah, Ducks on the corner for the Union Red Hawks. That will bring up Camden Knutson, the second baseman, number seven. No outs here in the top of the first for Broken Arrow. Defense has definitely been the Tigers' strong suit this year, and they're looking to get out here just to help bolster that and get something going. And the first pitch to Knutson is a strike on the outside corner. And 
you spoke with Coach Dobson in the pregame and said pitching and defense has been the part of the Tigers' offense as Holmes trying to pick off Young, but Young gets back into first base safely. But Dobson said it's been pitching all year and that went off the mark, so the count will fall to one and one for Holmes. And Dylan, so far you can kind of see that experience just looking to get his groove going with so little playing time so far this year. Trying to get his first out of this game so far. Tigers will look for a double play ball here. Ground ball out. That one is up in the zone. So it's now 2-1. Another pickoff attempt over to Young at first. Uh, Young gets back in there with no problems. District games just mean a little bit more because it's hard to believe that we're already halfway through the season. And it's gonna be a ground ball out to the second baseman and it's the four to six to three, but Gam Jones comes across to score, and the Red Hawks get one on the board. Yeah, and although Union got scored there, that was very much needed two outs just to give Dylan a little bit more confidence. Nice double play right there. Yeah, four, six to three. So Holmes gets out of the jam, but Red Hawks get on the board with Ben Fluche, the right fielder at the plate. First pitch was a ball. Another one up in the zone, outside corner. Veteran crew calling this game today. Yeah, and going back to what you said, Dan, this season has felt very fast, felt like a blur. And I'll be very intrigued to see what this Tiger team can do come playoffs, just looking to get back after last year's very unexpected exit and look to win a few more playoff games, advance in the rounds. 2 straight strike calls for Holmes makes it 2-2. Third one just a little low, so the count will go full for Fluche. Both teams four and three in the district. Fouché finds a seam on the right side. And he'll go to first with a single. So Braylon Danzi, the left fielder, will come to the plate. And I believe Braylon plays football as well for the Red Hawks. I think I remember calling his name during football season. Danzi sends a drive up to center. That one's going to fall in for a base hit. So Fluche will go to second, and Danzi picks up a single. Yeah, just a bit of an underplay right there, not calculating the ball well enough. And now Dylan is really hoping to get the Tigers be able to hit and get this third out here. So Steven Patterson, the catcher, will come to the plate with two outs and two on. Holmes loving that outside corner. Picks up another strike. Nearly getting that one, but just off the mark. This rivalry between these two teams go back to the beginning of time, it seems like. As Holmes goes upstairs, so he falls two and one. Now 
now Dylan will look for his last strike here to get the Tigers off the field. Two and two the count on Patterson. And another flare out of play. I know Holmes has just given up the one run to Gam Jones, but so far has been pitching a pretty good game. A lot of strikes have been called for him. Just the one walk. The 2-2 offering and another foul out of play. Patterson staying alive. Yeah, again, back to what you said. Holmes has looked pretty good through his first name. Just some have been upside and a little high, but his strikes have been good, throwing some good fastballs, and only one run lit up, which isn't that bad. That went off the mark. Count falls to three and two. Holmes looking to dig deep here to get the Tigers out of the top of the first. Patterson draws the walk, so that will load the bases for the designated hitter. This aim with not too much damage done. Hopefully only allow that one run and no more with the bases loaded now. Two hits for Union here in the first. We have a designated runner at first. First pitch on Wood is. And another high and outside pitch, so Tigers are gonna get together and talk it through. Wood talking to one of his coaches. The designated runner is number eight. And that is Michonne Minnells, if I have that right, according to the handwriting. Sean Minners, correction. So Wood will come back to the plate. As Holmes really going to have to dig deep here. That pitch is just off the mark. As the Tigers trying to get out of jam here in the top of the first. Holmes a little rocky on the bump right now. The count is 2-0. and oh. Someone is going to hit the turf, so that will bring in another run for Union. And that will do it for home for the Tigers is number one, Jordan Myers. So Myers will go to the bump. We'll take a quick timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. 
Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Dylan Holmes' day is done. He gave up two runs on two hits. Jordan Myers will come on the hill for the Tigers. And a new third baseman for Broken Arrow will be Jaden Sharp as well as Lane Condry will still maintain that DH spot. So after the pitching change, Plate will be uh, Armando Gomez. Gomez sending a flare and a left. That's going to bring in two. And just like that, the Union Red Ox are on the board again, four nothing. So Zach Oliver will come to the plate. And Union has a pinch runner as well. It'll be number 11. Asher Fowler will run for Gomez. So Oliver, the third baseman, takes the first one for an inside strike for a nice pitch. And Jason really looking to get the Tigers out of this inning and get some much needed momentum right now. Jordan. Jordan. Uh, it's all right. Jordan. <laughs> trying to work that inside corner again, but that one is just going to be outside, so it's 1-1 one, one the count. Myers with two on. Picks up his second strike. My Billingsley a little shaken up there. I think he took the bat on the pitch as well. So Tigers will reset here with Oliver talking to, I believe that's Newkirk there. Very nice pitch there from Jason, and he'll look to get this foul strike here. So one and two the count for Jordan Meyer. And that one's going to go inside again. So the count is now two and two. Falls in the dirt on the outside corner, way outside. So it's now three and two. And Jordan now just trying to find that sweet spot still at three and two, looking to get this foul strike here. Tigers trailing four nothing here in the first. And Oliver draws the walk, so the bases will reload. As Gam Jones will start it back up. Picked up a double in his first plate appearance. For Myers. Jones calls timeout. And we resume. No one gets right by Jones, who was late on his swing. The count is now one on one. Tiger pitching has struggled here in this first inning. As 
BA trying to find their zone. Fouls that one off into the softball complex. And now again, he'll look to get this foul strike here and dig the Tigers out of this very tough four nothing hole so far in this first inning here. Myers delivers. Jones sends a drive, shopping in the gap. That's gonna bring another pair of runs. And Union jumps out to a six nothing advantage. And another very good hit from Jones there, bringing in two runners. He's two for two on the day. Cody Young, earlier in the first, drew a walk in his first at bat. Got runners on the corner. Jones racing for second, but that is fouled away. Union playing very aggressive on the base path so far. Offering Myers delivered and Young swings right through it. Young falls to 0 and 2 in the count. Myers with the chance to get the Tigers out of the inning here. And he did the old fashioned fake to third, pickoff attempt going to first, but just keeps the ball. Myers pitch, and he gets the K from Young. So after one, the Tigers trail 6-0 to the Union Redhawks. They will come up to the plate for their first crack at it. We'll have the bottom of the first coming up. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Dan Hawk alongside Jaden Stewart. Broken Arrow Baseball hosting the Union Redhawks. Broken Arrow trailing six to nothing. As the Redhawks offense came to play in the top of the first. On the mound for the Redhawks is Armando Gomez. Catching for the Redhawks is Steven Pattison. Tigers will start it off with Cooper Bates, Grady Oliver, and Jaden. Sharp will be the first three at the plate. Bates on the year is the highest on base percentage at 522. It will be very interesting to see what Bates does here. He's a very athletic kid, also the quarterback for the Tigers, and he'll hope to get a rally this inning to dig themselves out of this hole here. And he's right on the line at the plate, crowd in the plate, and he takes a strike one. 
Bates will be playing next season for Cowley Community College. That will be baseball. I know he's excited about playing at the next level, but probably more excited for today to pick up a district win against the Union Red Hawks. A win would give the Tigers their fifth in district play. As Bates lets the second one go up. So it's now one and two. out of the zone, so the count goes to two and two. Tigers trail six nothing against Union. In a very windy afternoon here in Broken Arrow. Bates with another foul ball there. Still looking at just get his timing right and connect on one. Mondo just misses out of the zone on that one. So with a full count opportunity, Bates will look to get the offense going here in the bottom of the first. Sends a flare just in the hands of the second baseman. That is Camden Knutson. So Bates will go down. Bring up Grady Oliver, the team's leading batting average leader at one triple on the year. He's down 0-1 in the count. And that one just going to get down in left field. So Oliver goes to first with a single. Very nice hit by Oliver there just to sneak it into the middle and get on base here for the Tigers. Next up for the Tigers, the pitcher, number one, Jordan Myers. So now at the plate, the pitcher, Jordan Myers. With one out. And Oliver, like I said, leads the team in stolen bases with six. Wouldn't be surprised if we try to get the offense going here with a steal. Myers swung right through it. He falls to 0 1. Lane Condry on deck for Broken Arrow. Pickoff attempt. Nothing doing for Armando and the Union Redhawks. They call time. I think they know that Oliver can give them fits on the base path. And that's why they're probably discussing it right now to not get crossed up on anything and keep Oliver at bay. Yeah, and also gives Myers just a little bit of extra time, get his head cleared and hope to advance Oliver on the bases here. Now Union comes out. I don't know what they're discussing here. I don't know if he's talking about his pitcher coming set, but that doesn't make any sense as to why you'd discuss that. But play resumes. On one on Grady Oliver. Pitch, strike down the middle. Myers was caught looking there, now down 0-2 in the count. Ah. 
That one just missed. It's now one and two. Pickoff attempt from Armando. Oliver giving him fits. One and two, the count. Myers sends a drive to center. But on the diving catch from Union, and Gam Jones keeps that base hit off the board, so that'll bring the second out for B.A. and bring up the D.H. Lane Condor. Gam Jones has definitely looked like the star player today so far, connect on both of his hits, an amazing diving catch right there. Wind, I think, played a factor because the wind's blowing the opposite way. Gam Jones able to track that one down and made a beautiful catch. Condry. Sends a foul, I think, over the top of the indoor facility. Condry will be playing football this next season at NEO, two-sport athlete. He's injured most of the season in football. Actually, all of the season, rather. Very athletic kid that is going to turn into something special, I feel like, for the game of football. He gets to that college level, he'll put on some extra weight. Wouldn't be surprised if we continue him to see him climb up the ranks in college football. He's down here 0-2 from Gomez. And Condry's just the type of player you want on your team. Jones is going to go all the way to the wall. Oliver's going to come in to score. And Condry in there. I'm going to give him a triple because Gam Jones never even had an attempt on the ball. So just like that, Tigers get on the board. It's now 6-1 to one with the triple from Lane Condry. Contrary with a very nice blast there into center field. Again, much needed run there for the Tigers. As Oliver scores, Jaden. So that lead is now cut to five. And that'll bring up Kelton Tor, the right fielder. Tor sending a base hit on the right side. Condry comes in easily to score. Tor trying to stretch it in for a double, and he is going to get under the tag. And the Tigers now trail only by four. And another RBI here for the Tigers. Very much near momentum, get two scores here. And they're looking at a two-out rally now, looking at continue to decrease this lead by the Red Hawks. Tyler Billingsley, the catcher, will step up to the plate. First pitch out of the zone. He swings right through that one. So it's one and one. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Billingsley lets that one go on the outside corner. It's two, to, two and one. Two 
Two outs, two and one count on Billingsley. Tigers trail six to two. And Billingsley called for another strike on the outside corner. Billingsley again caught looking and will hope to continue this rally here for the Tigers. Billingsley. He's going to look on that one for the called strike. So with Broken Arrow, we'll have the top of the second coming up on AeroVision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Welcome back. Welcome back to Tiger Field. Dan Hawk alongside Jaden Stewart. Broken Arrow trailing the Union Red Hawks 6-2. But they did get some offense going in the first. And I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of our One Club sponsors now. First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bell & Joint, TTCU, Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Thank you to all of our wonderful sponsors. And with that, Cam Knutson at the plate for the Red Hawks. He takes the first one for a ball on the inside corner. And Myers still on the mound here to start the second. We'll look to improve off of the last inning and just strain out his pitches some more. Knutson grounded into a 4-6-3 double play for his only at bat. Union batted around in the first. A lot of offense coming out of Gam Jones as he takes that one on the outside corner for a ball two, so it's two to one. It's that one off the knob, and that's gonna be an easy out for Broken Arrow as he goes right to Brody Tedesco for the out. So one out for Knutson, Fluche at the plate. And Myers there a little low, look to raise that this next pitch here. Ben Fluche, the right fielder. Takes an inside strike one. He's going to foul out of play. So he falls in the count one and two. Myers liking that inside corner. That one unable to get a... Third strike call, but he's going right back to work. Ground ball gobbled up by Sharp. Sharp's throw off the mark, so Fluche will get into first with a single. Ground ball single. Braylon Danzi. And 
Lindsay fouls that one out of play. Second pitch, though, swings right through it. So he will fall 0-2 in the count. Now a great spot for Myers here, looking to get his second quick out of the inning so far. Myers looking like he's going to settle down here in the second. Just a little low, so it's one and two. Two straight pitches in the dirt. So the count is two and two. Two to attempt from Myers is good. As Fluche, correction, Danzy swings right through it for the strikeout. The catcher, number 23. That's a way to get going, because that'll bring up Steven Pattison with two outs. That was a much needed second. Addison in the first, walked. And he's looking to get the offense going here for the Red Hawks. Owen one on Pattison. Change up, falls low, so it's one and one. In the on deck circle is Lane Wood. Ground ball to third. And the Tigers get out of a jam. That is Jaden Sharp. Throwing it over to the first for the easy out. And that will do it for Union here in the second. Tigers trail six to two. They're coming to the plate in the bottom of the second. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Air Ocean. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Yay! Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Broken Arrow Baseball on the air with Aerovision. Hosting the Union Redhawks in a battle of District 4 opponents. The Tigers four and three, the Union Redhawks four and three in the district. Tigers trail right now in the bottom of the second, six to two. They got the offense going in their home half with Lane Condry ripping a triple. And they will look to continue that here in the bottom of the second. Is Brody Tedesco 
will get his first crack at the plate. Armando Gomez dealing so far for Union, just giving up the two runs. But Tedesco looks determined. Lane Contra a very much needed spark last inning. And Tigers will look to build on that after a pulling the Red Hawks to zero scores in this top of the second inning. Tedesco batting 375, has three hits, two RBIs, and a one double on the year. Swings right through the first one for strike number one. Second pitch from Gomez, up in the zone. Tedesco sending it to right. That's going to be hauled in for the easy out. So that'll give one out for the Union Redhawks. Next up for the Tigers, shortstop number two, Brock Natale. So Brock Natale, the Brock takes the fastball down the middle for strike number one. Ollie fouls it out of play. He'll fall to 0-2 to Armando. Tolly batting 278. That one high out of the zone. It's now 1-2. Give it a shout out to our teacher of the year, Kyle Cole from Rhodes Elementary last night at the Galas. Natali just frozen on the strikeout. And Natali showing some clear frustration after that at bat. And now we have Bryce Smith coming up to the plate, the speedster here, looking to get the bats rolling. And a left fielder. Last night was the gala. Did you have Kyle Cole back in the day at Rhodes, or were you not a Rhodes alumni? No, sadly I didn't go to Rhodes. What uh, elementary school did you go to? I actually live in the country, so I went to three. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I went to Highland Park and Care Garden and then Liberty a few years and Timber Ridge my last year. Okay. Well, big shout-out to Kyle Cole and Marius Wallace. Marie, excuse me, correction, is our Beyond and Above winner. So, big shout out to both of them and the gala recipients. Two and one to Bryce Smith. And he swings right through it. It's now two and two. And the Tigers have yet to get on base with this new pitcher on the mound for Union. Armando Gomez gets out of the in inning for the Union Red Hawks, so Tigers get nothing doing in the bottom of the second. They still trail 6-2. to two. You're watching Broken Arrow Tiger Baseball on Arrowvision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. 
We begin the third inning here at Tiger Field. Dan Hawk alongside Jaden Stewart. Lane Wood will start it off for the Union Red Hawks, the designated hitter. As Union leading Broken Arrow 6-2. to two. Myers here very much looking for a repeat of last game where we held Union Starting to zero off, points the there. For the Red Hawks, the designated hitter, number 10, Lane Wood. So, Lane at the plate. First one in the dirt will be ball one. Two straight pitches as Myers falls in the count, 2-0. Make that 3-0. Battling back, it's now 3-1. Wood fouls that one off his front foot. That one is a beautiful pitch for Myers off speed as Wood goes down on strikes for the first out of the inning. Armando Gomez, the pitcher at the plate for the Red Hawks. Yeah, Myers with a beautiful strikeout and look to continue that here. That one's inside for ball one. Gomez. Goes around for strike number one. He's trying to check swing it, but he went across. Now it's one and two after the foul. A one two offering is another. Change up strikeout. This time on a swinging strikeout. I'm very impressive aim here from Myers. Love the way he's pitching right now. He strained it out from the first inning, and he's looked. So Zach Oliver at the plate takes a strike one. Two outs, four broken arrows. Myers trying to work quickly for two straight innings. of the zone, it's one and one. Myers has pitched 10 innings so far this year and he's heading into today, he had 11 strikeouts. A little flare from Oliver into right. That's gonna be a single with two outs. So Gam Jones will go to the plate to Started off with a two-hour alley. And the Tigers very well need a lookout for Jones just because how impressive he has been today and will look to escape this in with quick three outs. Yeah, he had a double and a single earlier in the contest. Jones signals bunt. But that one's going to be a ball. one the count on Gam. Oliver going into second untouched as he steals for second base. So Union threatening here with a 2-0 count on Gam Jones. 
Oliver with a comfortable lead at second. And that's going to be three straight balls on Gam Jones. And Gam is looking at cash in now. Up 3-0 in the count. Very well could see him swing here. And we'll look to get RBI or just advance the bases. That a walk to Jones will bring up Cody Young. So with two on, Young walked and also struck out earlier. As Myers looks to get out of the inning, unscathed. That one in the dirt. One and oh. Called strike there, so the count is one and one. Myers trying to get dig dig deep. Ground ball to Sharp. Sharp throws it across, and that will get the Tigers out of the inning. As no runs come across for two straight innings for the Union Red Ox, the score remains 6-2 to two with Broken Arrow coming to the plate. You're watching Tiger Baseball on AeroVision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Broken Arrow looking to get their offense going here in the bottom of the third. It is six to two. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank Broken Arrow, since in St. John. Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. Also, Tiger fans, check out Tiger Threads, 1901 East Albany, 61st Street. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Broken Arrow Public School staff members, they get an extra discount. Plus, Tiger Threads is moving to the new event center. Check them out. They will have all kinds of swag, sweaters, T-shirts, hats, cups, stickers, you name it. They have you covered. In the new event center, they will have plenty of deals going on as Cooper Bates digs in here in the bottom of the third. He flew out in the first. This one, he's shopping at the gap, discount clothing rack. He's going to go into first with an easy single. So after the single by Bates, we'll bring up Grady Oliver. Oliver also had a single in the first inning. It's kind of been the offense here at the top of the lineup for Broken Arrow as they picked up two runs after giving up six to Broken Arrow, or excuse me, Union in the first. Bates with a comfortable lead, slides back into first as Armando trying to keep him at bay. And Oliver is very much the guy the Tigers want to get on base here, being the leading stealer off the team so far this season. Yeah, six stolen bases for Oliver. Bates with a comfortable lead. Oliver sends it to right. 
is Fluche. Correction, that would be Knutson coming over to haul that one in. So that'll be the first out of the inning. Next up for the Tigers, the pitcher, number one, Jordan Myers. Jordan Myers will come to the plate with one out. Myers has pitched pretty well in relief for two straight innings. But he'll look to get some offense going as he's called for strike one. Owen won the count, the pitch in the dirt. One on one on Myers. Condry in the on deck circle. Bates just gets in there. As Armando looks to be a little frustrated with Bates at first. Very close to call there for the Tigers. Near out there, which is not what we need here, trying to get some momentum going. Bates with another step at first. And now another throwback. That was Pattison, but Bates gets back to first base safely. You can hear the band practicing over at their over at the track complex. Myers fouls that one out of play. So the count will fall to two and two. Myers sent a drive to center in his last at bat, but it was an out. Going straight to Gam Jones. Another pickoff attempt, but Bates gets back in there safely. Two and two to Myers. Myers staying alive at the plate, sends that one into the Broken Arrow dugout. One of the scariest things that can be if you're on the bench. Myers keeps fine here at bat looking to get on base. Two and two. Sends it to right, but that's going to get out of play. So he's staying alive. He's got eight hit hits on the year, nine RBIs, and two doubles. Also has six runs. That one out of the play. Bates goes into second with a stolen base. And Bates looked very antsy, trying to get off first multiple times, and he finally gets the steal there. And Myers is now facing a 3-2 count, looking to connect here. You want to get Bates around from second. Three two pitch is low. Myers draws the walk, and that'll bring up Condry. And now Condry had the triple earlier. Now he has two people on base, and the Tigers could really use that triple again here. Condry with that triple, like you said in the first, brought some damage. Pinch runner for Broken Arrow for Myers. That is Connor Ketch going to first. So with one out, Condry digs in. Op 
opportunity here for Condor as he goes right hard hit up the middle. That's going to bring in Bates from second. And Connor goes into third. So for two straight innings, Condry land the hammer as the Tigers cut the lead six to three. Condry with another great hit there, bringing Cooper in, advancing to third now, and Condry on first. And this is exactly what the Tigers needed, decreasing that lead now. Red Hawks only up by three, and the Tigers are continuing to look to keep their bats hot here. Kelton Tor, the right fielder, stepping to the plate. So, Tor with two outs. He's looking to keep this offense ticking at the plate. Runners at the corner. It's Connor and Condry. Keldens lets that one go into the dirt. It's 1 0. Union's runs have all came in the first. They've been held scoreless since that rally in the first. Condry digging for second. And he's going to get in there on the Armando pitch in the dirt. Now the Tigers are at an amazing spot right now, having Mers on second and third and only having one out and up 2-0 for the count right now. Kelp. Sends a low ground ball, spraying on the right side. He's going to get out at first, but not before Connors comes in to score. So the Tigers pick up another run. It's now 6-4. to four. That will bring up Tyler Billingsley, the catcher. Struck out in the first. Andre at third. Billingsley at the plate. And the first one off the mark, so the count is 1 0. Another pitch in the dirt. And just like that, this ain't has completely flipped the script, tying the Tigers in striking distance now, only down by two. Very much need momentum here for Broken Arrow. Billingsley, high foul ball. That falls into play in the left. That'll score Condry as Billingsley gets a gift. Tigers have rallied here in the third, scoring three runs. And it is all energy right now in the dugout for Broken Arrow, only being down one now in the bottom of the third here. Brody Tedesco will be at the plate. Jack Gibson. Jax Gibson will go to first, pinch running for Billingsley. Tedesco looking to extend the rally here in the third. That ball carrying out of play. So the count is 1-0. Tigers trail by just one. Picking up two in the first and three here in the third. Count 
is now one on one. Nice drive into right. And that's going to go right into Ben Fluche, and that will end the inning, but not before the damage has been done. Tigers get three runs back. It is six to five here at Tiger Field. Broken arrow trailing by just one against the Union Red Hawks. We'll go to the fourth. You're watching Tiger Baseball on AeroVision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. You don't want to say, oh, that in the inning for so and so. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Six to five, Union clinging to a one run lead over Broken Arrow. Tigers have had scored two in the bottom of the first, three in the bottom of the third. They're fighting back, and they've held Union at bay for two straight innings. As Camden Knutson, the second baseman, will step to the plate for the Red Hawks. Myers has just pitched a gym in relief. Camden is going to pick up a hard ground ball single hit. But either way, that was just a, a bolstering hit right to Sharp, Jaden. Yeah, now back to what you said, Dan. Jordan, he's looked amazing today. He started out shaky, but these past two innings have allowed no runs, and he has looked very good in relief, very impressed by what we're seeing today by Jordan Myers. And now the right fielder, Ben Fluche, ended the inning for the Tigers last inning on a pop-up. Takes strike one. Knutson with a nice lead at first. As Fluche sends a drive right down the third baseline. And he will go into second with a stand up double. And just like that, the offense has come alive for the Union Red Hawks here in the fourth. Left fielder number 24. Braylon Danzi. Braylon Danzi will come to the plate. He's got a single and a strikeout. He's one for two. No outs here in the fourth. Most action that Union has done since the first inning. As Myers came in relief has pitched to Jim so far. Danzi squares around for the bun and lays one down. That's going to go to first. And he's going to get into first with one. Knutson comes across to score. Fluche comes across. Danzi stretching it into a triple, but on the air. So Union gets a couple runs back here in the fourth. And they lead it eight to five. Very bad error there by Broken Arrow, just kind of shifting the momentum back in the Red Hawks' favor after getting a triple off of the bunt right there. So Knutson and Fluche both score. Steven Pattison, the catcher at the plate, draws for bunt again for a squeeze, but...
nothing for him, so it'll be a 1-0 count. Danzy at third. Pattison squares around again. Pulls it back, and he'll take ball number two. They lead it by three. Myers delivers. Danzy crossed up there. It is now two and one. Check that, one and two. Now we'll see how Jordan handles this. Hopefully he doesn't get out of control, kind of like the first thing. And he's looking to get some quick outs here. One and two on Pattison. Pattison, low dribbler. That's going to go out foul. So the count will go to two and two. No outs here in the fourth. One and two the count. Addison hits it to center. That's going to fall in. Danzy's going to come across to score, and the Red Ox add another run. Three straight runs makes it a nine to five ball game. Very nice drive down the middle right there to bring in the RBI for Union. Pattison with a single. Lane Wood, the DH, steps up with no outs. Takes one on the inside corner for ball one. Dangerous situation here for Broken Arrow. And it's fouled off. 1-1. One, one. The runner goes. Pattison goes into second unscathed with a stolen base. Actually, that is a pinch runner there. It's Michon Min Minners. Wood fouls it off. So the speedster Minners at second. Two and two on Lane Wood. And Minners is for sure a guy that Myers needs to keep his eye on just to prevent him from stealing third right here. Minners taking another lead. And rolls inside, it's three and two. And Meyer still searching for his first out of the aim right here, trying to dig the Tigers out of this hole. And Minners goes to third. That's going to go straight to Bates. And they're going to double up. Minners at second, bad base running on the Union Red Ox, and that will be two outs for Armando Gomez going to the plate. Good heads up play by Cooper Bates to throw it in to double off Minners. Yeah, great baseball IQ from Bates right there. Exactly what the Tigers needed, two quick outs, and now Myers will look to get that foul out right here. 
Two straight pitches on Gomez, and he falls in the count 0-2. Myers, third pitch is low, so the count will go to 1-2. That curve just off the mark. And the pitch is a strike three on Gomez. So in the inning, three runs come across. So Union now leads it nine to five as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Stay with us. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to the Tiger Field. The wind has picked up. It is nine to five in favor of the Union Redhawks. They scored six in the first, three in the fourth. Tigers responded in the first with two and gave, came up with three in the third. And they will look to continue the offense here as the Union Redhawks are beating the Broken Arrow Tigers nine to five. At the plate. For the Tigers. It was Brock Natale, but his bunt off the mark and Union gobbles it up for the easy out. So Bryce Smith, the left fielder coming to the plate. First pitch for Bryce Smith is a ball. Count is now one on one on the left field. Tigers have struggled in their bottom half of the lineup. It's been top heavy so far in the ball game. And Smith changes that as he's going to go in to first with a single. Smith with a nice smack on the ball right there to get the Tigers on bases. So the center fielder, Cooper Bates, coming to the plate. Next up for the Tigers, center fielder, number seven, Cooper Bates. Flew out in the first, single in the second, double in the third. First pitch is fouled off on the third base side. Let's 
Smith. And Bates will now look to regroup facing the Ocean. Gets out of it, out of a jam on the ground out double play from Cooper Bates. It's nine to five. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to Tiger Field. It's 9-5 to five in favor of the Union Red Hawks. We are in the fifth inning. My color analyst, Jaden Stewart. Yeah, and we'd like to give another shout-out to all of our sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Ascension St. John, Tulsa Bone & Joint, TTCU, Federal Credit Union, The Arrow Group, and Quick Trip. And also, huge shout-out to our Tiger Threads, Brand new store at the brand new event center. Check out Tiger Threads at 1 East Albany, 61st Street, open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that new event center fastly approaching completion. What are you going to buy first, Jaden? A, uh, you know, a hat, a T-shirt? What are you thinking? We have some very hot summers in Oklahoma, so <laughs> probably get some short sleeve shirts or a hat. I think we should get some straw hats going in there. <laughs> Two straight pitches to Union. Zach Oliver. And then balls. It's two and one here in the fifth. Fouls that one off. It's two and two. Little confusion there as Oliver thought it was a ball, but it's now three and two. And that went out of the zone, so Oliver draws the walk here in the fifth. So Myers, two straight innings, struggling to get it going with the lineup as Gam Jones comes up to the plate. Jones a walk, a double, and a single today, Jaden. Yep, Jones has looked very dangerous today and just need to make sure to get him out at all costs, try to not get him on base and avoid him getting on the bases again like early in the game. Jones with that compact swing, swings right through it. It is 0-1. Check that, 0-2. Oh Myers giving up three runs in the fourth. Trying to get Oliver over at first, and Oliver goes back into first with no problem. Oh, and two count on Gam Jones. That one's outside the zone. It's one and two. 
and Myers really looking to have a repeat of the second third inning, not allowing any runs. Really what the Tigers need right now, down four with only two innings left to play. And the runner goes. As Oliver steals second base, but it is a strikeout on Gam Jones. So that'll be the first out of the inning. Shortstop, number six, Cody Young. Cody Young, the shortstop. Will come up now for Union. And he takes a called strike one. The wind's still blowing out. Now it looks like it's blowing directly to center. That one gets behind. Billingsley, so Oliver will move up. Another stolen base there for Oliver, and the Red Hawks are now in prime scoring position with one out in the end so far. One on one on Cody Young. Young sends a drive to center. Bates camping underneath it. He's going to have to hurry to try to get this one in to try to double off Oliver at the plate, but Oliver comes in to score. And Young there with the RBI increasing the Red Hawks lead to 10 to 5. So Young flies out to center for the second out of the inning, and Camden Knutson, the second baseman, will come up with no runners on. Ball just deep enough for Bates to not have any opportunity to try to get Oliver coming in from third. Knudsen lets the second pitch go for a strike. It is now 1-on-1. He had a double play and a ground out to, the, to first and also a single in the contest. He's one for three. Count is two and one on Knutson. Three and one now on Knutson. And he draws in Fluche. We'll come to the plate, but Coach Dobson visiting the mound right now, so we'll take a quick timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedists for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to the Tiger Field. Union on top of Broken Arrow 10 to 5. Grayson Wise coming to the mound in relief for Jordan Myers. Myers gave up 
four runs, and he will go back to third. Lane Condry will still maintain that DH spot for Broken Arrow. As Ben Fluche, the right fielder, will step to the plate for the Red Hawks with two outs. Grayson Wise in relief. Has pitched an inning and a third, giving up four hits, five runs. Four of them earned so far on the season. Fluche lets the first one go by, and the Red Ox get Camden Knutson going into second on the stolen base. And that pitch in the dirt, so it is 1-0. Correction, turf. I, it's, it's hard to believe that all these baseball fields these days are all turf. I remember playing on the dirt fields, grass fields, but they're all turf these days. Pitch a called strike on the outside corner on Fluche. It is now, now Wise looking here to get this final out and Tigers hoping to get their bats rolling at the bottom of this inning. Yeah, Tigers need to get something going in the bottom of the fifth. They trail by five. Wise, the 1-1 one -one offering. It's going to be a grounder. It's going to scoot through for Fluche as Knutson comes in to score. It's now 11-5. So Braylon Danzi will come to the plate. Knutson came across to score. It is now 11 to five. Two runs here in the fifth inning. Danzi, a strikeout and a single, and reached base on an error. And he's gonna get called for strike one right down the middle. Two outs here in the fifth. As Wise up in the count, 0-1. That one's high. Billingsley trying to get Fluche back, but Fluche just steps back on first base. One-on-one on Danzy. That is going to mark the corner for a one and two. Now Wise looking here to get his final strike of the aim and get the Tigers on bats. The one-two pitch. Another pickoff attempt. Wise go back to work on the bump. One and two. Eight. Well, that's going to be an easy out for Ben Fluche as he hauls it in. Nice poke, but just nothing doing. So Jordan Myers will come to the plate. Myers pitched in relief, gave up four, and now he's back at third base with one out. Curveball off the mark, or correction, strike, hitting the outside corner. One called strike two as it runs inside on Sharp. Two straight pitches and two straight strike calls. That one runs way in. It's now two and one. Wind 
Wind blowing directly into left center now. And Sharp gets drilled right in the middle of the back. And on a day like today, I don't know about you, Jaden, but I don't really want to get hit by the baseball. Yeah, I played baseball as a kid, and it's not fun. I mean, getting hit like that. Whew. So Sharp will go to first, and that will bring up the cleanup hitter, Lane Condry. Condry, a triple and a single. We need something out of you, Lane, here to keep this offense going. One out after Oliver's drive to right. Andre lets the first one go up and out. Gondry sends a drive to left, but Braylon Danzi hauls it in. For out number two. So Kelton Tarr will take a crack at it now on Gomez. Facing two outs and a much needed hit here for the Tigers. Kelton went across, so that'll be strike number one. Second one fouled out of play, so he'll go in the hole 0-2. Tigers really needing to come back in this one to get a fifth win in district play against Union. The 0-2 pitch is going to go. Catches it. That will end the inning. Tigers go down. They trail 11 to 5. We'll go to the sixth. You're watching Tiger Baseball on AeroVision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Casha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Union Red Hawks on top of Broken Arrow 11 to 5 as we begin the sixth inning. Tigers looking to slow down the Union Red Hawk offense. They've scored in every inning except two as the catcher, Stephen Pattison, will come to the plate for Union. Grayson Wise still on the bump. 
for B.A. Pattison, a single and a walk and a ground out in the ball game. First pitch is out of the zone. It's 1-0. Now one on one. Two and one. Addison sends it to center, but Bates hauls it in, throws in a hurry, goes right back to Wise. Pattison flies out, and that will bring up Lane Wood. Wise here looking at work some magic to hopefully have a miracle here for the Tigers in the foul lane down by six. The zone looks a little tighter now from our home plate umpire as it is 1-0. and oh. And there we go, 1-1. One one. Lane Wood, let that one go up, it's 2-1. Wood sends it right back to Bates, and Bates hauls in the second out of the inning. That is not an instant replay. That's just two straight <laughs> drives to center to Bates, and he makes it look easy. So two straight hits to Bates makes it two straight outs. Yeah, Bates has been very impressive today, batting just all over the field, doing a great job in the outfield. That's that senior leadership as Armando Gomez will come to the plate and lets ball one go out of the zone. Swinging right through it. Count is one and one. Just missing the zone, it's 2-1. Two outs here in the sixth. They're gonna check third, and they say he went around. It's 2-2. Two -two. Gomez, sending a deep. In the gap, bounces in front of the wall. Bates picks it up, and Gomez goes into second with a double. He just unloaded on that one, Jaden, and if the wind would have been blowing out, that might have went out for a home run. Yeah, the wind has been crazy today, whipping in left field, and it certainly seems to have been affecting the players today, the pitching. And it's a nice day out other than the wind. The wind's been crazy today. So pinch runner for Union. Is Asher Fowler, Zach Oliver at the plate and he take, takes strike one. Oliver, a single and two walks. Been very patient at the plate. One of those walks he did come across and scored. Oliver sends another one in the gap. Bates stretching out, somehow hauls it in. 
And Bates that, got all three outs there for the Tigers. Amazing job. That will end the inning as Bates takes that one home. It's 11 to five. Tigers looking to get something going in the bottom of the sixth. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to Tiger Field. We begin the bottom of the sixth. As Tyler Billingsley, the catcher, will come to the plate and try to jumpstart this offense. Tigers trail 11 to five on Union. Dan Hawk alongside Jaden Stewart, my color analyst. As Billingsley will pop this one out to Camden Knutson, and it is the first out of the inning. It's not what you want to do late in the ball game. You got to get the offense going. Jaden. Yeah, they've really struggled against Gomez. Gomez has pitched all six innings so far, and other than the third inning, he's been pretty lights out very well today, and Tigers have just struggled getting their bats rolling. Brody Tedesco looking for his first hit of the ball game. Fouls that one off. It's 1-1. I'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, Cincinnati and St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint, TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Arrow Group, and Quick Trip, Tedesco. One on one count, grounds it right to Gomez. Gomez gobbles it up, throws it over to first, and that will be out number two. Two straight batters go down. So for two quick outs. And now Union is one out away from securing a much needed important district win here at Tiger Field. Brooke Natali at the plate for Broken Arrow. Fouls that one away. Brooks steps out, takes an extra swing. Got some action in the bullpen for Union. Brooks steps back in, and he fouls it away. It's the top of the, hopefully he doesn't hit the, the roof of my car. He can hit Antonio Hurling's car, but don't hit mine. Pitch is low. Brooks swings right through it, but he goes to first, and that will end the inning. 
Brooke strikes out. It is 11-5. We go to the seventh. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Ask about our early pay options. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. Tulsa Bone & Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone & Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone & Joint, moving life forward. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Broken Arrow looking to get out of this inning unscathed and try to get the offense going in their bottom half as Cam Gam Jones takes strike one. So 0-1 on Jones. Grayson Wise still on the bump for B.A. He tries to sneak one in, but he's going to fall to 2-1. and one. Wise trying to check that outside corner. Nothing doing. It's 3-1 and one on Gam. That one goes into the dirt. So Gam will go to first with a walk. The shortstop, number six, Only one at bat for Gam that he did not reach first base. That was back in the fifth. He struck out there looking. So Cody Young, the shortstop. Struggled most of the day, reached base just in the first on a walk. Gam with a comfortable lead at first, looking like he's going to go. He does. Young sends it to center. Bates tracking, hauls it in for out number one. And Bates with another out there. He got all three outs last inning, and here to start the Tigers with their first out of the inning. Yeah, he's been pretty special. I mean, I think that's why we'll probably be, we will be seeing him rather at college next year at Cali. I know he wants to play D1 baseball at some point in his career. But regardless, just getting an education paid for and playing at the next level, that's the most important thing. As Wise trying to pick off Gam, but Gam just a speedster over at first. Yeah, and back to Bates. It'll be amazing just to see his future, how it plays out. Great leader and super athletic and just a great guy all around. Camden Knutson. Taken or so ago before the season, ah. and he was just really humble. 
and good guy about it. Really fun to interview, and I love getting the chance to do that. Knudsen. Down 0-1. Cam signaling like he was gonna go, but he slides back into first. The 0 1. Pitches off the mark. Gam gets into second with a stolen base. Speedster out there for sure. So one on one on Camden. It's Camden. It's a slow roller to short, but unable to hang on over at first as Tedesco and Gam will come across to score. So it is now 12 to five. Right pillar number 27, Ben Fouché. As Knudsen gets on first on the air. As Ben Fluche will come to the plate. Single and a double. Single in the second, double in the fourth. Camden over on second. Shea takes strike one. It's 12 to five here in the seventh. And Wise trying to pick off Knudsen, but both Oliver and Brock, I think, just had miscommunication there. I don't think they were expecting the pickoff. And the Tigers catch a huge break right there with Knutson sliding in, so he wasn't able to turn around and still third with the wild throw right there. I'm pitching the dirt on Fluche, one on one. Some activity in the Broken Arrow bullpen. Fluche lets that one. Fluche sends a flare. That's going to roll out of play. So we reset. It's two and two. Now Wise is searching here for a second out with the 2-2 two -two count in the bomb, excuse me, top of the seventh. The 2-2. Two -two. It's up. Count falls three and two. The 3-2. Three -two. Bluche. Slow roller to short. They unable to get Knutson. So Fluche gets to first, and it's now runners at the corners with a new hitter at the plate. Now up for the Red Hawks, number 11. And that will be Asher Fuller. Fowler, correction. The Tigers are now facing very dangerous territory with runners at both corners. Let's that one go up. One and oh. One out here in the seventh. 12 to five. Yeah. 
Runner goes. But that will be a foul ball. Boucher just racing to second, but Fowler fouls it off. One on one. You know, three days ago, it was almost up to 80 degrees, and now you busted out the winter coat today, Jaden. Yeah, that's Oklahoma wear for you. <laughs> and the wind has been so crazy lately. It's been it's wicked. It's a pretty nice day for some baseball other than the wind. Yeah, and it's looking at the flag in center. It is definitely picked up. I wonder if they're selling hot chocolate in the concession stands today. And the pitch. Fowler goes directly to second. And it's a force out. I don't know what's going on here. Why are we discussing this? Umpires, and looks like the home plate umpire has called it. it that will end the inning. I don't know why there's a discussion there. So that will end the inning. It is. 12 to 5, Union leading it. Tigers with one last chance at it to come back in this one as we go to the bottom of the seventh. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Aerovision. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow. Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. Racing towards the end of the month? Yay! Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedists for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care, and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. <laughs> Racing towards the end of the month? Yay! Ask about our early pay options. <laughs> TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. And welcome back to Tiger Field. Last chance for Broken Arrow. They trail 12 to 5 against the Union Red Ox. Armando Gomez been dealing for Union. He's pitched the entirety of this game so far as Bryce Smith will step to the plate and he'll be charged with strike number one. And that one nearly hit him off the top of the helmet. It is one and one. Smith sends a floater to Knutson. And that will be out number one. 
Now stepping up to bat is the all-around player, Cooper Bates, looking to get just something going so the Tigers can stay alive and end this game right here. Broken Arrow going to have to come back deep in this one. Bates has been electric in the field, kind of struggled a little bit on at the plate as he's called for strike number one. 0-1. Oh and two. Bates gonna have to battle back now. That one though he chases and he's gonna go down on strikes. So it'll be the last chance for Broken Arrow with Grady Oliver. Second baseman has popped out to second base and to right field. He did get a single back in the first. His first pitch just misses the outside corner for ball one. He did score in that first as well. He's in front, 2-0. Oh. Three straight balls from Gomez. Gomez deals back, and he gets one back, 3-1. This game was supposed to be played on Tuesday as Oliver sends it to Ben Fluche and Fluche hauls it in and that will be the ball game. 12 to 5, Union is your winner. Broken Arrow falls to 4 and 4 in the district. Union moves to 5 and 3. We'd like to thank our one club sponsors, First National Bank of Broken Arrow, and since St. John, Tulsa Bone and Joint. TTCU Federal Credit Union, the Aero Group, and Quick Trip. We'd also like to give a big thank you and a shout-out to Tiger Threads at 1901 East Albany, 61st Street. They're open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Broken Arrow Public School staff get extra discounts, plus Tiger Threads is moving to the new event center. 12-5 to 5 is the final here at the Tiger Baseball Field. We'd like to thank Antonio Hurling. Our stream director, Greg Spencer, director of Aerovision, Blake Shire, producer and engineer, my color analyst, new partner in crime on baseball, Mr. Jaden Stewart. And I'd like to extend a big thank you to all the students that helped out on the broadcast. The final, once again, 12-5 Union over Broken Arrow. Until next time, go Tigers.